Welcome back to another Olive video editing tutorial. In this video, we'll learn how to add background music to a video or to even replace the audio altogether with background music. So we're going to bring down this file that we've worked with in the past. And uh, this just has some audio I just have two pins on them. of myself talking. If we want to, we can have music playing in the background like l lightly and then keep this audio uh, or we can replace it all together. So we'll show how to do both of that. So the first thing we need to do is bring in some music or an audio clip into our project area. So we can come up here, we can go right click import, and then we can navigate to a place on our computer that has some music. So I have this more jazz guitar file and um, we'll just drag this down and the audio goes on the lower tracks. So we can't put it up here above the video. It always goes below the video. And if we zoom in, if you remember, we looked at this before, there's a little separator here that separates the video tracks from the audio tracks. So the audio tracks are always on the bottom, the video tracks are always on the top. And we can move the uh, the video tracks up on a higher track, we can move the audio tracks down on a lower track, but we can't move the audio tracks up to the video area. It sort of keeps them separate. Although they do behave very, very similar. So the tools that we've been learning, like the slip and slide and the ripple tool and the razor tool, we can apply a razor tool to the audio um, and we can do slide and extend and delete and everything. I'm gonna hit Control Z a couple times just to get rid of those cuts that I did. Um, and then one more thing I wanna show you is when you bring in video like this, by default, it's linked together. So we see there's an underline under each of them showing that they're linked. And so when we select one, they the other one becomes selected and they move around together on the horizontal axis which is a good thing so that they never become off so your audio doesn't get out of sync. Um, but sometimes if we wanna remove the audio, then we'll want to unlink, unlink them and just delete the audio. But for now, let's just try to play the audio with the music with the existing audio of the video. Let's come back to the beginning. And so now that I've put the audio, the music to the beginning here and we hit play, we'll hear that. The next thing I want to do is put the switches in. And then we also hear my voice talking over. So that's that's essentially all you have to do to get background music in is just bring in the, the music as its own audio track. It's important that we don't overlap it. If we were to bring it up here onto the same track, it would overwrite that and then we would just hear the audio, uh, the music, I mean. So now we don't hear myself talking. We just hear this jazz music in the background. And if we move it out of the way now, we see that nothing's there. It kind of overrode it and then it's gone. So to get that back, we'd have to either hover over to the end and extend that back. Oh, we have to unlink them to do that too. Um, or we can do control Z to get that to go back. Um, now, if we wanna get rid of the audio altogether, what we do is we come over here and right click on the clips that are linked together and we go to link unlink. And then we'll just select the audio that we wanna get rid of and we can either move it, now that it's unlinked, we can move it around separately, or we can just hit the delete key and delete it. And so now we only have this jazz music. Um, and we can apply some of the similar things that we did, like to video. We can uh, right click and go to speed, and we can slow down our music or speed up our music, but it kind of has some negative effects on audio. But just be aware that anything that we've learned thus far that we can apply to video clips, we can also apply to audio clips. Um, and audio doesn't have to just be music. We can also bring in, like at the be beginning of my videos, I have this sound effect right here. Uh, where's that? And so we can bring in sound effects too. I can bring in the, this and put it on the same track at a later point, or I can put it on lower tracks. And you can have, I don't know if you can have as many audio, I think you can have quite, have quite a few different audio tracks. It might be limitless. Anyway, you can have a lot of different audio tracks. You can have a lot of different video tracks. And, um, you know, you can kind of over, overlap the audio as much as you want to as well. Oops. So that's just a little bit of an introduction. We haven't talked much about it, and maybe it was self-explanatory, but that's working with audio in Olive. Um, in the next video, we're going to start looking at effects, which can be applied to audio and video. And so getting familiar with these effects kind of helps us take our video editing skills.
to the next level. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave your questions and comments below if you have any, and I'll see you in the next video.